Hi there. Welcome to the Health Analytic Insights Podcast. This podcast is all about creating a community of like-minded individuals who are passionate about the field of health informatics. I hope to share information and advice in topics such as health analytics, digital health, biomedical engineering, and data visualization in healthcare. And in exchange, I would love to hear from you, dear listener, about your experience and interest in this field. You can drop me a line at healthanalyticinsights at gmail.com. And this email, along with any references discussed during this podcast, will be listed in the show notes below. If this resonates with you, don't forget to follow and subscribe to this podcast, as I'll be releasing new episodes bi-weekly. So in this podcast episode, I've spoken a lot about the use of SQL queries and how it's widely used in the field of health informatics. So in this podcast episode, I'm going to go over some specific common SQL queries that are often used. Experience writing SQL queries is a common skill listed on many health informatics roles because knowing how to slice and dice raw and structured data into actionable insights can be a large part of the role. Healthcare data is oftentimes messy and can come from multiple sources. It can be entered in manually. It can be sourced from the electronic health record or electronic medical record. It can come from labs. The possibilities are endless. Nevertheless, it may be your role to make sense of all this data and tell the story of the patient's journey throughout the healthcare system. So SQL joins are one of the first commands that you learn when you're programming in SQL. And SQL stands for Structured Query Language. Some of the important syntax you will want to know from your SQL queries is how to join different tables which house your healthcare data using left, right, inner, and outer joins. So imagine you have two data set tables which house two different types of information. Another way you can visualize this is if you think of an Excel spreadsheet, you can have one table with patient demographic information, and you can have another table on an Excel spreadsheet with the patient's diagnosis. So going back to the SQL example, you can have one table that has patient demographic information, such as the patient's name and age, and a second table, which contains information on if the patient had a positive or negative COVID-19 test. We often will want to join information from matching rows in one table together with another table, so we can have a holistic view of the data set as one large table and do further analysis on the single table. So for example, I, want to, I might want to join information from the first table to the second table into one large table so I can count the number of patients who had a positive COVID-19 test based on their age. So to do this combining data from table one and table two into one table, which will contain both the patient demographic and the patient diagnosis information, we need to use these join commands in SQL and have a common column which is shared between the tables we're joining. So for this example, the common column or key between the patient demographics and the patient health condition could be a unique identifier such as the patient health card number. So when you go to the clinician's office or the hospital, you might have to take out your health card number and that's recorded. And that can be your unique identifier throughout your patient journey. And so there are several different types of joins. There is left join, inner join, right join, outer join. And the type of join you want to use in your SQL query depends on the business case. So that's key that you do that analysis before you start to even write your SQL queries. You have an understanding of the clinical problem you're trying to solve. And that really stems from, do you want information, all of the information from table one? Do you want all of the information from table two? Do you want all the matching information in both of these tables? Or do you want all of the information? And so you can really start to look at it as a Venn diagram, but it's key to understand the clinical problem even before you start to do the analysis. So another type of SQL query that you should know are wildcard statements. And wildcard statements can allow you to filter the data by selecting specific conditions. For instance, if you only wanted to count or you only want to filter the number of patients who have a first name which starts with J, 
You could use a percentage symbol to sort your data by filtering by records which have a first name which starts with J. This is where it really starts to come to manipulating the data. A large part of your job might be sorting through and manipulating tons and tons of data. And so again, it goes back to understanding your clinical problem. What do I need to do? I find that writing it in plain text English really helps me before I even start programming. Now, another SQL query you'll want to know is the group by function. And as the name suggests, this function groups rows by certain criteria. So for instance, you could group your patients by age, as I said before, you can group your patients by those who have been diagnosed with a positive or negative test for COVID-19. And it's gonna really help you to start to look for general trends in your data. So I've spoken before on the podcast about patient readmission rates. And in that data set I was talking about, I talked about grouping your data by patient age and grouping your data by patients who might be on multiple types of medication. And so really understanding what you should group your data by can really stem by having conversations with clinicians. So first step, if you have a conversation with clinicians, this can help you to really understand the criteria that you should be looking at. And then once you understand the criteria, you can start to use some of these common SQL commands such as the wildcard statements and the group by functions. And then the last SQL query that you might often use when it comes to writing in SQL is the order by statement. This allows you to order the data set in the table either by ascending or descending order. For example, if you wanted to order your patient by patient name alphabetically, Anna would appear in the table order before bill. So these are just a few SQL functions that can be used to slice and dice the data into formats that can then be integrated into tools such as R, Python, Power BI for further analysis and visualization. I also have a video on my YouTube channel if you want to see this in a more visualized format. And the YouTube channel is called Health Analytic Insights. And I will send a link to the YouTube video in the show notes of the episode. So thanks very much for listening.